a family affair. Back in the pits, the big news was the all-new V12 Honda engine running in a McLaren for the first time. Honda weren't releasing any details, and with Jonathan Palmer nursing a broken thumb, the man entrusted with the task of testing the machine was former 3000 star Alan McNish. McNish won the Formula 3000 race at Silverstone earlier this year, but it is a sign of the esteem the Scotties held by the McLaren team that he was allowed to test the car. It also shows the confidence that Honda have in the new engine to test it for the first time in public. It sounds different, as McNish found out. Out on the track, the car looked just the same as the winning V10 machine. Very difficult to tell the difference. But Nish wasn't out to set records. What was impressive was the fact that the engine ran without any teething problems at all. After that run, I asked Alan about the test. Yeah, it's a great honour to uh, be entrusted with the new Honda V12 engine for me. Uh, it was a little bit, a little time ago since I drove the V10, so I can't really make very many comparisons between, between the 10 and the 12, but it's went without problems today, it's run all morning, and uh, it's sounding very, very sweet music to the ears of any racing enthusiast. As the test continued, I asked team boss Ron Dennis when the new engine would first be raced. Almost certainly not until next year. Um, really just running the engine here is perhaps... Uh, practical way of demonstrating that we try and think well to the future and um, this engine which is of course uh, uh, Honda uh, developed and manufactured and uh, this engine is very much a, uh, one of a, a range of development engines which will contribute to the uh, final specification for next year but uh, they're not they weren't made as race engines and they're uh, certainly not intended for that purpose.